for your information guys it is not only at the federal level that there are cabals in Lagos states there are also cabals in Lagos states cabals that do not want apc to leave government cabals that want to remain in office no matter what because they know that as soon as apc leaves government hmm they are yash don't open up probably they will go back to <laughs> the local bureau job that they started with in this regard i'm talking about mc Luomo and the likes you know it seems as it seems as if they have institutionalized agbirolism should i call it that way in lagos state now because a lot of people voted for labor party these people are now starting to burn shops belonging to Igbo people i feel if this thing is not curbed is this thing is if this is not stopped this can escalate and turn into a tribal issue because why do you have to persecute people and fight people just because of your political choices you have your own one vote go to the polling unit and exercise your rights like everybody do can, can do not do not need to always agree like everybody cannot agree you know we agree to disagree why why fight them because they do not want uh, APC any longer in Lagos State. They, des- they have that right. They are residents of Lagos State, though they might not be Yorubas. They are residents of Lagos State. They have a right as well to exercise their civic responsibility. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, guys, please and please subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video give this video a massive thumbs up help us grow this channel by giving it a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other youtube viewers all around the world lastly please leave your comments in the comment section without further ado let's delve right into the details of today's news ohane is the indigo worldwide a social cultural group that represents the Igbo people has issued a statement of condemnation in response to the recent arson attack on a spare parts market in lagos nigeria at some unspecified point in the early hours of wednesday march 8 2023 arsonists launched an assault on the market which is primarily frequented by Igbo business people concerns have been raised within the Igbo community in Lagos as a result of the occurrence which took place at a time when tensions between the Igbo and other ethnic groups and the states were already rising. The attack on the spare parts market in Kirikiri Road, Ajigule, Ajiromi, Feludun, Lagos has been linked to the recent presidential election in Nigeria. Some politicians in Lagos State had alleged that the Igbo community planned to take over the state through the Labour Party candidate, Badibo Rhodes Viva. The allegation had sparked tension between the Igbo and other ethnic groups in Lagos. According to eyewitnesses, the attackers stormed the market in the early hours of the morning armed with guns and petrol bombs. They set fire to several shops and vehicles in the market, causing extensive damage. The Igbo traders in the market were said to have fled for their lives during the attack. Reacting to the attack, the National Publicity Secretary of Oane Zindigbo Worldwide, Alex Ogbonna, condemned the violence and called for an end to ethnic tensions in Lagos. In a statement issued on Thursday, March 9, 2023, Ogbona says that the attack on the spare parts market was an attempt to intimidate the Igbo community in Lagos. Ogbona noted that the Igbo community had expressed their desire for a new Nigeria through their support for Peter Obi in the recent presidential election. He added that the Igbos should not be punished for exercising their democratic rights. Ohane Zindigbo worldwide cautioned against any further attacks 
on the Igbo community in Lagos and called on all Nigerians to condemn the violence. The organization urged men of goodwill to rise up and speak out against ethnic stereotypes and aid speech. The attack on the spare parts market has had a devastating impact on Igbo traders in Lagos. Many of them have lost their livelihoods and are now facing a un an uncertain future. The incident has also raised concerns among the Igbo community in Lagos about their safety and security in the state. The Igbo community has called on the state, Lagos state government to provide security for their businesses and ensure that justice is served for the perpetrators of the attack. They have also called for an end to ethnic tensions in the state and for all Nigerians to work together for a better future. The Lagos state government has condemned the attack on the spare part market and promised to investigate the incident in a statement issued on Wednesday, March 8, 2023. The state government expressed its sympathy for the victims of the attack and promised to provide support for those affected. The state government also urged all residents of Lagos to maintain peace and avoid any action that could lead to further violence. The government called on all Nigerians to work together to build a better and more united country. The attack on the spare parts market has attracted international condemnation with many countries and organizations expressing their solidarity with the Igbo community in Lagos. The United States Embassy in Nigeria issued a statement condemning the violence and calling for an end to ethnic tensions in the country. The European Union also condemned the attack and called for justice for the victims. The organization urged the Nigerian government to ensure the safety and security of all. In conclusion, the Ohanese Indigo Worldwide has strongly condemned the recent attack on the spare parts markets in Ajigunle, Lagos. The group emphasized that the incident is not an ethnic issue, but a criminal act that should be condemned by all well-meaning Nigerians. The group also urged the government and law enforcement agencies to take immediate action to bring the perpetrators of the attack to justice. It is important for all Nigerians to promote unity and peace, coexistence among different ethnic groups in the country. It is unacceptable for anyone to attack or discriminate against another person based on their ethnic background. We must work together to build a stronger and more united Nigeria where all citizens can thrive and achieve their full potential. Let me know what you all think in the comment section, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.